well. Hope you guys can uh, see and hear me because this is not the video that I wanted to bring you guys today. Mm -hmm. I had a lovely car review of a 2020 Camaro SS, 2SS manual. Got some good pickup and everything, you know. But my GoPro Hero 5 decided that um, when it's in this little, the little holder that it's in right now, whenever I start driving, um, the camera kind of gets overstimulated with all of the audio vibrations that's going on in the holder itself. When the audio gets overstimulated, it, it cuts out. So literally, I have half a video talking about the car and then when I get in the car and I pull off, me driving and it's shaking the GoPro inside of this windshield mount overstimulated the uh, the audio. So um, it's literally me driving, but you can't hear anything. Now, last time I checked, if you want to see a fun sports car car review, you want to see and hear everything that's going on. So. Um, let me give you an example of what that audio clip looks like when the sound cuts in when I stop and then goes out when I start moving. Go, go ahead, take a look. Yes. Okay. That's really what people want to hear. Uh, the way that I explain it to my dad. I'm pissed I'm really pissed um, when stuff like this happens it's happened to me maybe once or twice before the first time it happened where the audio cut out during a car review now my light bulb wants to flicker the first time it happened while I was doing a car review, um, I had an external microphone for this GoPro. The microphone was just slightly, I mean millimeters outside of the plug and I lost audio. Thankfully I caught it during the car review and I took the microphone off for the rest of the review. Um, this time the GoPro has been fine for a number of weeks, practically months where I've had no audio issues even in this phone this windshield mount so why that day decided that all of the vibrations was just gonna you know cut it out it's a stock car so it's not like it had a cam and it was like chopping and stuff like that like it, it was a stock Camaro so me driving how how does GoPro Hero 5 de suddenly decide that the audio is just gonna <coughs> Not only do I have to reschedule a reshoot for the car review, I do not have a fun video for you guys. Instead, I have this video. So, I'm gonna turn the car off to save my gas. Also, it's raining today. Didn't think it was supposed to be doing that, but you know. Um, also, it's pretty dark. I had to film this leaving work because like I said, I needed to bring you guys a video. Um, I'm gonna be heading inside soon but I can't let this happen again. I can't. I'll see you inside. Well, here we are. So, here I am at my lovely editing desk and I can show you guys visually what it looks like on this editing software and I just thought oh maybe it just didn't finish loading but all of these cutouts right here is literally when the car stopped moving and then once it started moving again just freaking cut out so as I said before you guys know how I feel and I can't let this happen again because this this isn't how I'm supposed to be doing things at 5,000 plus subscribers and it just makes me wonder like where do I go from here how can I guarantee that this won't happen again hell how can I guarantee that me talking to you guys right now isn't audio glitching out oh probably because the camera's not vigorously moving but still how do I know and I've looked up things about GoPro having audio glitches before and apparently 
it's a firmware issue that they weren't able to update fully yet. So the only remedy that they recommend is instead of, if you guys have a GoPro, you guys know what I'm talking about, but there's a record button at the very top of the camera. Instead of starting your recording by hitting that one and then it automatically starts recording, you have to turn the camera on and then press record because somehow it, that's better. I, I don't know. So I tried that in the car. Um, after I finish filming this, I'm gonna look at that footage that I filmed um, driving home. I recorded the video like I normally do by pressing the top button. And I also tried it by turning the camera on first and then recording to see if that made a difference. I made sure to do both while I was driving and while I was stopped. So I'm gonna see if that helps. Maybe by the time I finish editing this video, I'll have an answer for you guys to see if that actually made a difference, but I, I can't describe how upset I am. So the video will be coming, you guys. Um, I'm thankful that uh, Chris is very easy to work with. She's eager to uh, you know film this again, so I'm excited for that. It's just, how can I make sure that this doesn't happen again? What do I do about the audio? Do I really have to consider upgrading my GoPro? Do I really have to consider getting a Hero 9. That's that's the latest one out now. So I don't know. Um, and what also sucks is, you know, here's here's the mount. Here's the mount that I use for, uh, you know, the windshield driving and everything. And then here is a lovely stabilizer that I got as an awesome Christmas present. It works pretty solid. The only problem is because of the electronic feedback, I hear white noise in the background. Um, I'll show you guys an example right now. So you guys see what I'm saying? Um, so I don't know when is the best part to use this stabilizer. I may have to only use it for opening shots because that background noise is is too distracting to me so you know it has wi-fi capabilities and you know it's it's a solid a solid stabilizer and i'm really just trying to find the best use out of it because you know i i don't want to waste this like this is this is a really nice stabilizer and <laughs> between my gopro audio this not giving me the audio that i need i, I just hate that audio problems have plagued me ever since at some point and you know it had been such a long time since the last time I had an issue that I almost forgot about it and sure enough this weekend I got a stark reminder that hey there's something wrong and um yeah I don't I don't know what to do so yeah if you guys have any suggestions um on where to go from here let me know I I really can't spend a ton of money on a new camera right now I still like GoPro, I like the functionality, I like the compactness of it. It's an action camera and audio problems are nothing new to this style of camera, I guess. You know, I've seen it online plenty of times, but I don't know, it's it's nothing new. So I'm just trying to figure out the best route. Um, who knows, maybe that little hack where turning the camera on first and then recording will actually not cause an overstimulation of the audio and it cut out so we'll have to see i'm gonna look back at the footage now but if you guys have any suggestions let me know so yeah i hope to have that car review video out for you guys soon obviously i'm still working so i might not be able to finish that review until the end of this week because as you see as soon as i get off it gets dark um, i do have a mod coming for the jeep so i do plan on installing that this weekend so i'm excited for that and um, just stay tuned for both of those. Make sure you're subscribed. And I do apologize for this issue. And like I said, I'm not trying to have this happen again. You guys have supported me for too long. And come March, it'll be three years that I've been doing this YouTube thing. So, you know, I can't excuse this as a rookie mistake. You know, I can't, I can't have this happen again. So thank you guys for understanding. Um, I'm sorry it didn't work out this time. And I wish I had a more exciting video for you. But anyway... I hope your 2021 is going all right so far. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the rest of your day. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, 
I don't know, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up to make me feel better because I swear I was in a bad mood for like three hours. <laughs> like after seeing that, and I was so excited after driving that car because I haven't driven a manual sports car in a long time. And driving that, I was like, oh yeah, I, I can see where the enthusiast comes from of driving a, uh, driving a manual. And I get home excited to edit, excited to edit a video, no freaking audio. So disappointing wasn't even a word to describe it. So hit a thumbs up for me. Watch another one of my videos where I'm in a better mood after this. And um, subscribe to my Instagram if you haven't already. So shameless plug because I want to. So <laughs> thank you guys again for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see y'all next time. Take care.